Welcome to Crimson Ink. I'm Barb and this is my store in Adelaide, Australia. In this short TV series, we're going to show off our work through real clients, challenges and community work. By doing this, we're going to give you a taste of what it's like to work in a tattoo studio. I'm going to take you through the process from start to finish, whether it's a brand new tattoo, cover up or tattoo removal. We want all our clients to enjoy their tattooing experience and leave here satisfied with their new tattoo. I have amazingly talented staff that have all different types of experience and a real passion for the art. Why don't you come in and check us out here at Crimson Ink. Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to my store, Crimson Ink. We've been open nearly a year now and business is great. Now, through this series, we're going to show you what we do here and the stories my clients have to tell about their tattoos. We go from the meaningful to the simply artistic. We have some interesting challenges and competitions, like all four of us are going to tell you my partner, Flan, at once. Oh! I love being my own boss. I have the boys run after me and I don't have to lift a finger. They really bring the store to life. They are my boys. My favourite style is anything unusual with lots of colour. I've been doing a bit of watercolour style lately, which is very popular with the ladies, giving me the freedom to show my artistic side. I've been tattooing 23 years now, and I'll be doing this for the rest of my life. I'm going to show you around my store, and you can meet my amazing staff. This is my workstation, and across here we've got Steve, that's his workstation. Hi, I'm Stephen. I'm an artist here at Crimson Ink. I've been tattooing for 14 years. I used to work at a store with Barb, and as soon as she opened Crimson Ink, I jumped at the opportunity to come work here. It's a really cool studio, really funny and relaxed atmosphere. I specialize in old school and neo-traditional. My favorite tattoos are bright, bold, and colorful. Next to him, Cookie, that's his workstation. G'day, I'm Cookie, I'm from Crimson Ink Tattoo Studio. I've been tattooing 10 years now and I specialise in whatever you want to throw at me. I like the challenge. Uh, I take it upon myself to try and teach a lot of the apprentices the trade secrets of what we do. Um, I take a lot of pride in that. Other than that, just easy as. Across the road here, we've got Tom, the apprentice. Next to him, Mark, another apprentice. How you going? I'm Tom. I do laser tattoo removal and I'm a tattoo apprentice. I started getting tattooed when I was pretty young and I've loved it ever since. Um, I really love like neo-traditional or just traditional tattoo work. And hopefully by the end of my apprenticeship, I'll be able to do some real clean ones. I'm Mark from Crimson Ink Tattoo Studio. I'm coming up to my first year here now as an apprentice. Um, besides tattooing, my job basically consists of a lot of setting up, cleaning up, um, just basically cleaning around the shop. My main focus is black and white realism. Uh, I really just love the technicality and all of the focus and detail that you've got to put into each piece. Someday I'll have someone working for me. Firstly, in the mornings when I come into Crimson Ink, I check my appointments and see what designs I've got to do for the day. After that, I always see if the apprentices have been doing their jobs with all the cleaning and preparation I need for the day. After that, we just get to work. Hi. Hi. Can we have a perfume bottle? Yes. Cool. Um, have a grab a seat. We'll draw something up. 
Where's it going to go? Um, I'd like it to come about here. Okay. No worries. About what size? So I just like it to sit about there, so about that big, and um, so the perfume's facing that way. So when it sprays, it's facing that way. So about that big. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Coming out around cool. like that. So vintage style. Yeah. Like yeah. A vintage style okay. with. Um, so we'll draw something up. Yeah. Yeah. So um, just like the oval shape. Yeah. So it comes in a bit smaller at the bottom. Yeah. And how do you want it decorated? Um, so maybe like with, um, so it looks sort of like a brooch in the centre, but it's just like a nice circle with some flowers in it, some pearls around it or something. Okay. So it looks a bit dainty. And Sounds nice. Girly. Okay. So, um, I'll just do a rough copy mm -hmm. and then, um, just to make sure I've got the right idea. Yep. When the client comes in, we sometimes sit down at the table, um, and draw the design together. They'll give me their ideas and I'll draw it as we go. Like with the perfume bottle, she gave me the shape and what ornaments, ornamental stuff she wanted added to it, um, and that's what we did. And we drew that up and like then sized it all, got it right, and positioned it on her arm before we did the stencil. Then stenciled it up, stuck it on, and then tattooed. And um, some decoration in the middle. Oh, what about at the top here? Um, maybe. Like some leafy, okay, some leaves. Or yeah, we'll do some leaves. Like that filigree type look or something. Or so just one flower. Yeah. Do you think one flower? Yeah. We'll put some pearls around the edge. You said you wanted pearls. Yes, please. Cool. So it looks girly. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that looks cute. Maybe sure. with this, um, maybe more in the centre though, not under the leaf. Oh, okay. When we do it, so. Yeah, no worries. So bring, bring that up a bit. So it's like a circle in the centre of yeah. the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Make that a bit, make them a bit higher. Working with the client to refine their design is very important. At the end of the day, it's what they want, but I also give them ideas to help them improve their design. With the spray, maybe more so like it's a cloud coming out. Yeah, okay. So like smoky, not just so it's shooting straight out in the line. So sort of like that? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Just nice and soft. So yeah, like so we'll just do that in like shading. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? I like it. Good. Very nice. Okay, let me neaten it up and then we'll tattoo it. Great. Uh, did some uh, semi-realistic -real uh, roses today, spent roughly three, three and a half hours on them, nowhere near finished but uh, to a standard where it's happy to leave the shop, this is what you want. Yep, that's what I want. Right. So, looking at this, mm -hmm. This actually curves with your shoulder more. Yep. So I'm probably going to get rid of this rose up here. Okay. Alright, this top, mm -hmm. this very top one, and actually bring it around more. Right. And then I'm going to bring it down like that more. Okay. So I create an art for okay. me to track some writing. Yeah. How's that sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I sat for ten and a half hours last night. Really? Yeah. You're crazy. I want to cry by the end of it. Yeah. So I don't know, you know when you're from here. 
So I've neatened up your design. Mm -hmm. um, I actually reckon it looks better that way. Okay. Like that. So, what do you reckon? Yeah, I'm a bit of an angle. Yeah, that looks good. You like that? Yeah, I really like it. Oh. Cool. Let's do it. Awesome. Thank you. I'll stand it up for you. Okay, You can just have a seat out the front if you like. That won't be long. I put a lot of preparation into the design before I start. It's a lot easier that way. It makes the tattoo a lot quicker and I know where I'm at the whole way through. It's easier on the client and um, the end result's always better. set up our stations, everything gets covered in glad wrap and that's for cross-contamination purposes and a sterile environment. Cover the bench, we cover the cords, we cover the machines, everything gets covered and that's for our safety and the safety of the clients. We lay everything out before we start, set our machines up and then we stick the stencil on. We always prepare the skin first with metho or alcohol um, to get rid of any oils and bacteria on the skin. Then we apply the stencil um, and then it's left to dry. Uh, you've got to leave it long enough, otherwise the stencil rubs off while you're tattooing. And um, this probably takes about five minutes. Okay, just, put, um, just look straight ahead. Yeah. Okay. Not too much on it. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Just hold it for a minute. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Have a look in the mirror and see what you think. Yeah, I like it then. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, so you ready? Mm-hmm. Pop your arm up. No worries. While doing this style of tattoo neo-traditional, I always check my equipment first to make sure it's running properly. For this style, we need a solid consistent line and smooth shading. And this is how we create a bold clean tattoo. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> First 10 minutes is probably the worst. Oh, uh, if you've got a clip on there, I'll be using You're starting to tell you the first 10 minutes is probably the worst. After that, your endorphins kick in and your body gets used to it. She does very well with the pain.
Thank you. Tell me about your half sleeve. Uh, I just want a nice vintage girly sleeve, just like everything like that. The old perfume bottles and fans and yeah, all that sort of thing. Yeah. I essentially want a nice lady up yeah. the top. What other stuff? Oh, uh, maybe like the old school lamps as well. Or oh, yeah. I like the old typewriters and yeah. fans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. What other tennis have you got? Um, I've a lot of um, different stuff. Unusual things from artists that I like. And so I've got their art tattooed on there. More, um... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Weird ass stuff. Weird ass stuff. I love all that sort of stuff. Try to be different. Now we're going to have Cookie explain to his apprentice Mark some feedback and tips to improve his tattoo work. Any, anything I say to you, mate, please take it constructive criticism. Yeah. Okay? I love my tattoos. This isn't about my tattoos. This is about um, you understanding and growing from it. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like I said to you earlier, the first thing you need to do is change your black hand. I'm not going to say what brands and whatnot, but you know, I've already told you that. The other thing is, it means you start to start to learn, you don't need to line everything you see. Alright, I get where you're coming from. You don't want to lose your stencils, so you quickly yeah. got them in. I get that. I used to do that too. <coughs> but um, whether you're doing an 8 hour tattoo, 10 hour tattoo, 3 hour tattoo, it's still the same. Same principle. You know, um, like, you're, you're tarnishing I'll be able to show you some tarnishing a bit later. Not right at this very second, but... Um, you, you did the opposite to what I normally see. A lot of people think, ah, uh, bugger their hair. I won't worry about their hair so much, I'll, I'll do this. But you actually did the opposite to your credit. You, you spent so much time on the hair making it look cool. Then you've got a client sitting here. There is no one else. Yeah, it's enough when they don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you've got to learn to be able to keep the game on for long periods of time. Yeah. You know, you may not need it, but when it when you do need it, you've already got it. That was one thing our old shop taught us is how to tattoo for long periods of time. You know, uh, I was trying to mix the so dark olive green. Um, so we've added a bit of bluey grey colour, some avocado and some black. And now we're hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there now. Yeah? With my outline being done, now we can move on to the colour work of the piece. This is my favourite part of the tattoo. So we're doing um, we're doing darker colours of traditional style. Um, we've got olive green here and um, like a maroony colour. I'm going to go back over the maroon with a black right along the edge, and then um, just shade it out. Um, the middle bit here we're going to um, colour in light pink, not sure about this bit yet, and then the pearls. This top bit here is going to be like a goldy effect, and then that'll just about finish it. <laughs> oh, 
Here we have Steve doing some script for a client. We do a lot of this sort of work. People have lots of stories to tell and the memories they want to keep. Cookie and see how he's finishing up with his tattoo. How high can you go? Boing, boing, boing. Stop. Alright, grab him. Come here. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Best part about the tattoo is seeing the customer walk out the door with a smile on their face. That's uh, when you know you've done a good day's work. This tattoo that Steve's doing is a very popular type of tattoo. People have their kids' names and date of birth. I'm almost finished with the perfume bottle. The colours have really popped, making it an effective piece in the traditional style. Beads around there, mm -hmm. make that front bit stand out. What do you think? I love it. You love it? It's great. Okay, have a look in the mirror, see what you think. Oh wow, it's awesome. That's cool, huh? I love it, thank you. No worries, it's great. Anytime. After I finish the tattoo, I clean them up and then take them to the mirror for their big reveal. And uh, they love it, usually. Um, they look in the mirror and their faces, it uh, just gives me such pleasure to watch their, the look on their face when they see their design. Great, thanks Great. for that. Thank you, I love it. No Thank worries. You. See ya. Bye. Have a good night. You too. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Next time on Crimson Ink, we have Cookie, our featured artist. He'll be tattooing the winner of our free tattoo competition. And then over from Melbourne, we have Ben Parker from Ink Transitions. He's our guest artist. Finally, we have our birthday barbecue celebrating one year, where we have more design competitions and thousands of dollars worth of tattoo giveaways. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Crimson Ink. See you again next time.